President, please be seated. The chamber is now in session. Maître, je vous en prie. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, je Mr. voudrais euh, revenir une seconde sur euh, la question qui vient d'être évoquée May I... euh, avec le document photocopié soumis à M. Myonchea. Nous sommes certes les avocats de M. Kyosampan, mais... Je crois que c'est un problème qui, qui vous concerne tous. Euh, or, en faisant une rapide recherche concernant ce type de situation, euh, j'ai trouvé une décision qui a été rendue par votre chambre dans l'affaire Douk. Il s'agit d'une décision du 26 mai 2009 qui porte le numéro E43-4, et dans laquelle votre chambre a indiqué que les irrégularités qui pourraient être soulevées par les parties sur des documents qu'elles souhaiteraient présenter au tribunal ne sont pas couvertes au sens de la règle 76-7 par l'ordonnance de renvoi. Or, il me semble, en tout cas si la traduction qui m'en a été donnée était correcte, que vous avez, juste avant l'interruption, euh, dit le contraire, to the interruption, à savoir you que stated the contrary, vous avez indiqué, Monsieur le Président, que Mr. President, dès lors que des documents n'avaient pas été contestés so long as documents are not contested, avant l'ordonnance de renvoi, vous alliez considérer que ceci uh, n'avait plus à être order, discuté. They are no longer subject Et je constate, to pour soutenir... Euh, <coughs> la défense et la position de M. Nunchea, qui peut nous concerner un jour ou l'autre également, que dans l'affaire Douk, votre chambre n'avait pas décidé en ce sens, mais bien au contraire, elle avait explicitement indiqué que l'ordonnance de renvoi ne couvrait pas les nullités concernant les documents qui pouvaient être soumis à votre chambre. That may be put before Donc, afin de clarifier Therefore, la situation, in the interest of je, je clarity, voulais euh, vous demander quelle était exactement la position what exactly de la chambre à ce sujet. Est-ce qu'elle est la même que dans l'affaire Douk ou est-ce que the vous modifiez aujourd'hui votre jurisprudence Et puis. Je me permets d'ajouter, puisque tout à l'heure, on a rappelé que je venais d'arriver dans le dossier et que je n'avais peut-être pas connaissance de tous les mémorandums et de toutes les requêtes qui avaient été déposées et que cela expliquait peut-être mon emportement sur les questions de traduction, que dans un document public, intitulé « Mémorandum, chambre de première instance » daté du 25 octobre 2011, que je me suis permis de poser en copie sur le bureau de M. Lavergne, en page 3, il est très exactement indiqué aux parties que celles-ci devront solliciter, obtenir, les traductions des documents qu'elles souhaitent produire au débat dans les trois langues du tribunal. Et il est indiqué que si elles n'y parviennent pas, court, eh bien, la capacité so, d'utiliser un tel document en sera réduite. Et c'est à cela que je faisais référence tout à l'heure, lorsque je And disais qu'il exactly me semblait que une telle position revenait à mettre sur les épaules de la défense, de l'accusation ou des partis civils, une charge impossible, à savoir la traduction de documents qui auraient dû d'ores et déjà être traduits en aval.
should have been translated from the very start. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, the co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Your Honours, if I can uh, briefly uh, remind Defence Counsel that in relation to the Deut trial and now, uh, the rules of document presentation have in fact changed. Um, since the, since the Deut trial, the plenary has amended the rule and Your Honours have uh, implemented it in that the parties that want to put documents before the chamber do so in written pleadings. And Your Honours has asked all of the, all of the parties uh, to provide any objections to those documents. In relation to this phase of the trial, those objections were placed by the 1st of November. In relation to the revolutionary flags, there was no objection by the defence of Nguyen Chia that the revolutionary flag photocopy was in fact not a copy of the revolutionary flag. The, this is the first that we've heard today that somehow or another they're disputing that uh, the copy is in fact not a copy of the, the genuine original. Secondly, in relation to the next phases of the case, your Honours have asked the defence and the prosecution to file the documents that they seek to use and the defence to respond and the other parties by the 5th of January. After which, um, as Judge Laverne has said, uh, the Chamber will make decisions on the admissibility of documents. And Your Honours have said today that you would set up a session in the next trial chamber, in the next session of this case, where document admissibility would be discussed in detail. So the, the idea that this issue can keep arising again and again only slows down the trial. As far as the use of photocopies is concerned, obviously we'll save our argument for that later date. But it cannot be, Your Honours, that photocopies cannot be allowed as evidence if the defence, their only ground of objection is the fact that it's a photocopy. It must be something more than that. It must be something substantial. Yeah, on the basis that the copy is in fact not a copy of the original. Otherwise, these cases would never be able to move forward. All of the international courts um, have operated on this basis that photocopies are acceptable because the number of documents in these cases are so large. The defence, the Nuentia defence, had an opportunity to specifically state that the revolutionary flag copy is not in fact, in fact a copy of the revolutionary flag, and they have not stated so in their response. Your Honours, the Defence, in this case, has had years to look at the revolutionary flag to determine whether or not they believed they were authentic or not, and they still haven't raised that objection until today. Your Honours, if the Defence if the, if the defence have a serious objection to a photocopy stating that they believe it is not authentic, and that's when it should only be addressed, and it should be addressed at the hearings that Your Honours have decided to, uh, to hold in, in a month's time. Thank you. The President Council, you are reminded to seek permission from the President of the Chamber first before you speak. You cannot just only stand up and then push the button. How can I ask for permission without pushing the button? Uh, it's a serious question. Right? How can I ask for permission without standing up and pushing the button? What am I supposed to do? Le demander. Qu'est-ce que je suis censé faire Je vous en prie. Briefly in response to the points raised by the prosecutor, we have filed on numerous occasions uh, general objections to the documents 
which uh, the prosecutor presented uh, 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 wanted to put before the chamber. Um, we think, and we've taken this position, decision on more than one occasion, we think that the procedures should, should be established to uh, establish the authenticity of documents. Les documents. And uh, we have raised this as a general point, and my client today raised a specific objection to one document, which has been put before him. Um, um, I think that should be enough. And, uh, I think that the authenticity of do this document has to be established before we continue questioning my client on this particular issue. And uh, we support the suggestion uh, made by the prosecution to reserve a week to discuss all issues related to the admission of documents, but not not only to the admission of documents, but also to the uh, uh, authentication of documents. The President, thank you for the observations raised by various parties. Merci aux différentes parties qui ont soulevé des points. The Chamber will consider all the La chambre issues and deliberate sur in due course. Ces questions en temps utile. Now we will proceed with the schedule as planned. The prosecution is now given the floor again to continue questioning Nguyen If you have any other questions not related to the 1777 Revolutionary Flag magazine. Qui ne porte pas sur ce numéro de l'étendard révolutionnaire. President, before we took a break, there was a debate regarding the validity of the flag magazine issue in 1977. Thank you, Mr. President. When we left off, Mr. Nunchea, I had asked you the reason your speeches Monsieur as a leader Nunchea, of the Khmer Rouge did not contain references or pay respects to, to the discours, venerable monks. Sous le du the vous truth, vous pas Mr. Nunchea, is that the reason for that is that the party had banned Buddhism and defrocked all the monks. Isn't that the case, Mr. Nunchea? Nunchea, Mr. President, the party did not have any measure to ban Buddhism. When uh, Judge Laverne was questioning you uh, yesterday, Mr. Noon Shea, you were discussing some of the principles of Buddhism that you believed were compatible with the party. The truth is that there also were many principles of Buddhism that were not consistent with the party, including the principle of karma, the karma. belief that bad La and good deeds from another life resulted in pre present conditions. Is it not correct, Mr. Nunchea, that the principle of karma was fundamentally inconsistent with the party lines? Response, Mr. President. The karma in Buddhism, Monsieur le Président, le karma, as I understand it, dans le bouddhisme, et comme je le comprends, is that th there is no karma from the previous life 
n'est pas le karma, karma de la vie antérieure. Le karma life. existe de la vie présente. And the karma at present will yield result. At present, bad karma will be bad. Good karma will be good as well. Who, who would know about the, the karma in the previous bon life? Everybody was dead in the previous life. Karma. But he, he, as human beings living at present, le then we will know. Pour un être humain qui vit dans le présent, bad karma, we, we il commet bad de result. mauvais actes, il accumule du mauvais karma. C'est quelque chose que je crois profondément. Quelqu'un karma, that qui person we reserve, accumule we reserve du mauvais bad result. karma en, euh, subira les conséquences par la suite. Ma question, question. M. Nunchea, was whether the party regarded the principle of karma as inconsistent with the principles of communism. Human, your response. I do not understand your question. Je ne comprends pas votre question. Well, Mr. Nunche, what is your response? to the thousands Question. of witnesses réponse, who have given statements in the case file who all consistently say that the pagodas were closed, the monks defrocked, and the practice of Buddhism banned during the period you were the deputy secretary of the Communist Party. How do you explain that? Can I, I'm sorry. Can, I would like to object to this question. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm not familiar with thousands of statements which uh, uh, say that uh, uh, monks had to defrog and pagodas had to be closed. But, um, but most importantly, I don't understand the relevance of this question for the, uh, the segment we are discussing today. Mr. Nunche, Mr. President, it, it, is, it is clear Monsieur from the case Président, file that the decision to uh, ban Buddhism was made prior to April 1975. There are numerous, numerous statements on the case file from witnesses who testify to that practice in areas that were liberated by the Khmer Rouge prior to then. In order, in order to establish that, that all we were incidentally touching on that practice, but the point here is to confront the witness with the truth and the truth that every single witness who has testified in this proceeding is that the Khmer Rouge closed the pagodas and defrocked the monks. The Chamber give the floor first to the defense for Nunchi. Um, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm afraid I do not share the truth uh, the prosecutor is trying to present. Uh, if, if the prosecutor wishes to confront my client with certain statements, uh, the easiest thing to do is just to show the statements or refer to the statements so that my client can react. To it. It's impossible for my client to react to statements he doesn't know about. Uh, Mr. President, I haven't reacted earlier, and perhaps and per, uh, for the reason f because um, Mr. Nunchi is not my client, but for some time now the prosecution client, has gone way beyond the scope of the first phase. Now, uh, bien de la I realize that this is a trial and that at Je some point we will get to these issues. Dans un procès et However, que nous I think un jour à ces questions. if we're going to be touching si on these issues as they're trying to do, it is best to just simply try the entire first trial than to try to compartmentalize it the way we're doing, because obviously it will impact in the way we will prepare sur la manière for our questioning. The prosecution questions. took the advantage because Chris Cartwright read from a, uh, a document dated 1997, uh, 1977 and from then et, uh, began asking questions on matters that were outside the first phase. It was process. rather clear. 
Now, as I said, I, we have no Alors, objection dit, as long as we know exactly where the parameters are. So either we try the entire first trial, and so that every witness that gets on, including the, the accused, who choose to, to give evidence, are subjected to questions on all phases of the first trial, les témoins les accusés or sur toutes les phases du procès, whenever a party goes beyond the strict parameters that you've laid out, that they'd be told établi, that they could get to that issue à la at a later date. And if I may finish, et, et, je simply voudrais standing up and saying, well, we're trying to get to the truth, is insufficient. I don't think that's the answer je ne crois pas que cela when soit la réponse. the objection is, how is it relevant to the first phase? So, de either la we, we phase try the entire case, Alors, ou or we limit the questioning at this tout, phase to the first phase that you've set up, one or the other. Au fait que vous Thank avez you. Merci. Thank you. Je vous renvoie au mémorandum que la Chambre a rendu. Limitation on the um, um, this issue that is we look at on only the persecution on political grounds, but not on the religious Les grounds. In pour effect, non the objection of the defense réalité, is sustained, and the co-prosecutor is advised to refrain from asking this kind of question. Again, parties are reminded to put questions concerning the facts that have been set au sujet for the faits first segments of the trial. Au segment du procès. The co-prosecutor may now proceed with another Le question. Procureur peut passer à la question suivante. Except those that concern the religious matters. Question qui ne concerne pas la religion. I am happy, happy to proceed, Mr. President, but first, if I, if I may just answer the question that Council has asked. The, the reason I was asking this is because the statements that were made regarding Buddhism that I initially started to ask Mr. Nunchea about were part of a discussion by Pol Pot of the analysis of Cambodian society that was made in 1960 at the First Party Congress. That is a direct issue that is part of this first proceedings. It is something that the accused has talked about at length, which is the analysis they made of Cambodian society in 1960 as to who were the enemies. And in this speech by Pol Pot, which I would add is a very well-known speech that was broadcast on the radio, for them to deny this, its authenticity is specious. This will be one of the easiest things this court can do. But to be clear, the reason I was asking this is because in Pol Pot's speech, it is clear that is part of the analysis that the accused was talking about as to which parts of society were considered the enemy, that there were references and discussions to the Buddhists. And that is why I'm, why I'm asking about these questions, Mr. President. Mr. President, if I could be heard just for one second. What we heard is pleading. Consul is testifying. If that was the intention of Consul, then he should do it by presenting si evidence, putting the questions or putting the documents to the witness, as opposed to making a closing and final argument before the witness and before the public, and thus trying, attempting to taint the evidence. What he believes or what he thinks is irrelevant. Maybe he will be able to prove it. But the proper way of doing it is to simply go step by step, putting forward 
the evidence from 1960 and letting the answers to his questions lead us down the road to which he claims uh, he will get us to, as opposed to simply standing up and giving a closing argument. I find that objectionable. I did not interrupt the gentleman, but I would ask your honors that perhaps some guidelines be laid out for all of us. Thank you. The President. Le President. Uh, this issue has been ruled, uh, ruled on. La and, a déjà uh, I'm not sure whether Mr. Co Prosecutor has further que le questions to put to the question. To the accused. Poser de nouvelles questions à l'accusé. Once again, the issue that you have just raised Je le répète, is not one of the facts that are in ne uh, the memorandum distributed. If you do not have any further questions, we will si proceed pas questions, with another party. Une autre partie pour intervenir. Mr. President, I certainly have other questions. I simply wanted to make sure our position Je on this issue is on the record. Position Thank you. Était officiellement inscrite au compte rendu d'audience. Mr. Nunchea, Monsieur Nunchea, do you recall the speech that Pol Pot gave in September 1977, where he announced to the world the existence of the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Were you present at that speech? Mr. President, has been, it has been many years, I do not recall it. Cela remonte if you have documents, années, je ai pas le please souvenir. show me, si vous avez un document, show, show me the je document. Vous de me le présenter. The speeches of the Pol Pot. Le document du discours de Pol Pot. Do you have that document? Que vous avez ce document? If you do, please si show oui, me. Merci de me le présenter. Just so the, the record is clear, Your Honor. This is the same document claires, that we've been going through, which, start, which announces at the start that is a speech by Pol Pot announcing the existence of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. But if the accused would like to see it, I'm happy to provide it to him again. Sous les yeux, je peux sans problème le lui montrer. Le président, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, identifies the document number. Est-ce que le co pourrait donner la cote du document? Mr. President, this is document number D243-2.1.4. D243-2.1.4. And I would simply ask you, Mr. Nunchea, to look at the very start of the document on the, probably what is the third page in the Khmer version, where there is a description of the speech, which reads as follows, quote, the presentation of the party representative on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of the great victory of the founding of the Communist Party of Kampuchea and on the occasion of the official domestic and international public announcement of the party. And my question to you is, do you recall that Pol Pot made this speech a few days before the 30th September anniversary, and then he and Ng Suri and a number of others flew off Ensuite, to Beijing for the first official foreign visit as leaders of the Communist Party. Do you remember that event? Du PCK. Que vous en avez le this is also réponse. the revolutionary flag document. Il également du I already de l'étendard révolutionnaire. C'est le même document, je l'ai déjà rejeté. In the revolutionary flag, we dans l'étendard no révolutionnaire about the religion. And now you present il n'est pas question the same de document. religion et voilà que vous me présentez à nouveau le même document. I asked for the document, Mr. Nunchea. 
My question is very simple. Question is simple. Do you remember a speech, Pol Pot giving a speech in September 1977 that officially announced to the world the existence of the Communist Party of Kampuchea? I do not remember. It has been many years. De nombreuses années ont passé depuis lors. If you don't remember, Mr. Nunchea, si how is it that you pas, believe this document is not, in fact, a copy of that speech? Que ce document n'est pas un exemplaire de ce discours. I do not understand your question. Réponse. Je n'ai pas compris la question. The president. Le président. Now can you pass me to co-prosecutor? Est-ce qu'on peut Court marquer une pause? Is instructed to. Je demande. Show. The revolutionary flag of 1977 on the screen. De faire apparaître à l'écran ce numéro. One page. De l'étendard révolutionnaire datant de 1977. Page by page. Et ce page par page. And then move back to the page that Après the co-prosecutor wishes to put la page à propos de laquelle le so procureur souhaite poser des questions à Nunchea pour que celui-ci puisse examiner le document. The president, the document has not yet been shown. I have just instructed the court officers to put it up on the screen so that you and your counsel could see your, this document page by page from the beginning till the end. And then we can proceed. Après quoi nous pourrons poursuivre. Then the mic is not activated. Yeah. The president. Le président. Can it be slower? Est-ce qu'on peut aller un uh, peu plus lentement? Some part of the document was not shown on the screen. Certaines so parties du document ne sont pas apparues à l'écran. Est-ce qu'on peut faire apparaître l'intégralité de chaque page à l'écran? Excuse me. Your Honor, if, if the point of this exercise Monsieur is for Mr. Nunchia to read the document, de perhaps he could indicate the end of each page when he's finished reading that document instead of just flipping through page by page by page. page une fois que l'intéressé aura lu tout le document plutôt que Thank de you. passer en revue chaque page. The President. Le président. Can the document be put up on the screen? We can peut spend the rest of today's time just to flip over the Nous pages of le this document. De cette audience and after that, the chamber can en revue review rapidement chaque page how we can proceed and subsequent 
de quelle façon procéder car il n'y aura plus d'audience how we could conduct our Après future hearings uh, by referring to our amendments of the internal avant rules. Uh, la prochaine audience, les juges vont se réunir pour voir comment procéder dans le cadre du règlement intérieur. And so we will discuss on this matter and we will come up with a solution Nous to avons this problem. entendu la défense de Kyosampan, les juges vont donc devoir se we réunir, délibérer et trouver une solution pour éviter trial. que les mêmes questions ne soient reposées à l'avenir. Merci. Yes, uh, uh, thank you, Mr. President. I, I agree. And if I'd make a suggestion, rather than spending the last time just having the document on the screen, that I'll move on to a different line of questioning, and we'll we will address the, these issues about these documents during during the break, so that when we resume, uh, we won't have these interruptions. Examinés pendant l'interruption pour qu'il n'y ait plus d'interruption une fois qu'on aura Mr. repris les délibérations. Est-ce que cela vous semble acceptable, Monsieur le Président? Le Président, I have said from the very beginning, comme je l'ai déjà I have dit informed the parties who dès le début, this issue. And I want to make les it parties qui ont soulevé la question ont été informées, que les choses soient claires. Peut-être que le coprocureur ne me comprend pas. Si vous voulez that is not related to the facts that we intend to be discussed in this segment of the trial. This is not possible. And now Cela we want to show this document Maintenant, to the accused and to ask him whether he accepts document this document. Et de lui and after that, we will document. see how we can proceed. Après quoi, nous verrons comment nous it appears that you do not procéder. understand this issue. Il semble que vous n'ayez pas compris. And you come up with the same question, vous and now the problem persists. Répétez sans cesse now la même question. Is to show le problème n'est pas résolu. La chambre veut so présenter ce document à Nuncia pour que celui-ci puisse l'examiner page après page, jusqu'à la fin, après quoi nous demanderons à M. Nuncia de faire des observations sur ce qu'il pense de ce document. And after that, we will end Après quoi, today's session. nous allons the mettre un terme à l'audience d'aujourd'hui uh, et les together. juges after vont délibérer that, entre eux. Court officer, Je demande au greffier d'audience de faire apparaître l'écran, de faire apparaître le so document à l'écran pour que Nuonchia puisse en prendre Nunchia? connaissance. Monsieur Nuonchia Nuncia. Again, I do not Je le accept répète. this revolutionary flag document. Je ne reconnais pas ce document de l'étendard révolutionnaire. As a result, even if c'est pourquoi, this document is shown to me, même si l'on me montre do not it. ce document, How could I je ne l'accepte pas. Comment pourrais-je l'accepter? Yes, I do not know. Anything about this document. Puisque je n'ai aucune information à son sujet. Le président, thank you for your merci position. pour votre intervention. That you informed the Auparavant, vous aviez court that indiqué just now, uh, the co -prosecutor, co -prosecutor you que. That is why the chamber asked the court officers to display the document in le procureur soft copy. Plutôt, il, à l'instant, le co-procureur vous a montré le document software, papier. C'est pourquoi nous avons demandé qu'il soit projeté à l'écran. Il s'agit du document que l'on fait apparaître par le logiciel Zilab, qui est utilisé pour la gestion du dossier. Ce problème ne s'est jamais produit auparavant. Les documents sont toujours But versés au dossier avec le logiciel Zilab. Problem, and we are trying Or to voilà qu'un problème se pose et nous essayons de vous faire this comprendre kind of information technology, and we are qu'il s'agit d'un document, document using this 
mettant en jeu un certain nombre de technologies, en l'occurrence un logiciel particulier. We just expect that you may not object to this document when it is shown. But now that you show your objection, even though the document is shown, we are thankful. And it is now appropriate for us to review this document. Mais il apparaît que ce n'est pas le cas. To le moment est venu for de session. lever cette audience. I now announce this session's close. Uh, Council Inouzi. Thank you, Your Honor. Just La défense. Uh, one last point before we all go home. Une dernière chose. Uh, this relates to uh, something that happened this morning. Une chose qui s'est passée ce matin, pendant l'interrogatoire de Long Norin, nous sommes tous, j'en suis sûr, très intéressés à maintenir à jour le registre des appels. C'est pourquoi nous avons une objection face à la décision prise par la Chambre concernant la question de Pestman sur Kitchen. Selon nous, les ingérences politiques sont pertinentes à tout moment de la procédure, quel que soit le thème en question. Ce sera notre position également à l'avenir. Je terminerai là-dessus en remerciant nos collègues ici avec nous. Peut-être que je pourrais leur offrir un verre ce soir s'ils veulent bien. Le président, juge Cortrail, je vous en prie. Your objection was noted. Nous avons pris note de votre objection. L'observation finale que vous avez faite est déplacée dans ce contexte. C'est une question sociale. Vous pouvez vous en occuper sur le plan social. Merci. Le président. Today's session has now come to an end. Cette audience touche à son terme. And we will resume. Nous allons reprendre les délibérations. On Tuesday, the tenth of January, two thousand and twelve. Le mardi 10 janvier 2012. So this is the information to the parties and concerns. Units of the Office of Administration. Les parties et les différents membres du personnel concerné en sont à présent informés. Je demande au personnel de conduire les accusés au centre de détention et de les ramener dans le prétoire le 10 janvier 2012 au matin pour 9 heures. L'audience est levée.